tripling bald eagles in Utah, and wildlife experts are trying to figure out why. More than a dozen have died since the beginning of the month. The latest death occurred this morning. But what's causing this? It's frustrating and heartbreaking. It's really hard because you want to be able to do something right now and we just can't. Since December 1st, at least 13 of these majestic bald eagles have died. The latest, this one-year-old female died just this morning. She was discovered last Wednesday near Centerville by a jogger and was brought to the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center in Ogden. It's hard to watch and it's, it's really frustrating not being able to to know what we're treating, what we're seeing, if we, can, if we can even treat it at all. About all anyone knows so far is that all of the eagles were experiencing the same symptoms. So they were um, showing signs of body tremors, um, they would have seizures, they appeared to be paralyzed, and they had weakness in their feet and their legs. This is the time of year when eagles are seen often in northern Utah. They migrate here from other states and linger near the marshes of the Great Salt Lake where there's plenty of food. The DW conducts annual counts and the numbers range between 700 and 1200. Adding to the concern here is the fact that the dead birds weren't discovered in just one spot. They were spread throughout several different counties in northern Utah. Usually if you have something, say like a poisoning or something like that, usually you find them in small geographical areas or something, you know, something along those lines. The wildlife folks are considering all possibilities here, but admit this is a strange situation. No, we've, we've never had um, this many birds come in. Um, of one species coming in this quickly in this, span, this short a span of time and having them all um, die. The dead eagles have been sent off to labs for tests, but results may not be back until the end of the year. And even then, even when we do find out what it is, if it's, it may be something we can do nothing about. Wildlife officials say none of the eagles were shot and there's no signs of anything malicious going on here. If you see a dead or an injured eagle, don't touch it, don't try to catch it. Call the Division of Wildlife Resources. as several bald eagles have died in northern and central Utah this month alone, all from similar symptoms of a mystery illness. Well, today we have learned of two more birds found this week on the verge of death. That brings a total nearly two dozen. New special Share Park has more now from Farmington. Well, good afternoon. One of the eagles was found here in Farmington Creek, and it was suffering from the same mysterious illness that may have killed 16 others in the state. At the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center of Northern Utah, bald eagles are coming in faster than ever before. Since December 1st, the facility has received nine of the birds. Only four are still alive. This bird was recovered on Tuesday in Farmington Creek. This one, less than a year old, was found in the West Point area on Christmas night. Being brought in with leg weakness, um, paralysis, um, tremors, weakness in the wings, um, seizures. It's unknown what is hurting the iconic birds, but wildlife experts say they're being right. treated for West Nile-like symptoms. The first set of labs on the first recovered birds have come back, but experts won't have answers until there are more labs to compare them to. We don't have all the pieces of the puzzle together yet, so um, this could be the end of it, or this could be the tip of the iceberg. We don't know. Statewide, 21 bald eagles have been found with the mysterious illness just this month. 16 have died. This one was found by hikers in Bountiful. I've never seen a bald eagle close. Taylor Schulte and his father-in-law carefully took the eagle home, keeping it calm while waiting for wildlife officials. The bird is now improving at the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center of Northern Utah, but whether it'll ever get strong enough to return to the wild is still unknown. The bald eagle is is just what America stands for, and so to see one hurt, injured, you know, that's not that's not what you want to see. And the rehab facility expects that more of these bald eagles will be found with this mysterious illness. So if you are out hiking and you come across one of these birds, you're asked not to touch it. Instead, call wildlife officials so they can handle the situation. In Farmington, Share Park, KSL 5 News. All right, sure. Thank you. Nick.